I didn't go looking for the story in Sudan. It came looking for me. In the form of a true story in Christianity today about a Dinka tribal whose little girl was kidnapped and sold into slavery, and he went after her. We're talking a man dressed in nothing but a loincloth and a bead necklace, carrying nothing but a spear. The man speaks only Dinka, which is one of 524 different tribal languages in Sudan. So as soon as he got more than 20 miles from home, he couldn't communicate with anybody. He walked 500 miles from the jungles of southern Sudan to the Sahara Desert, looking for one little girl out of the 160,000 to 300,000 other women and children who had been sold into slavery. Sudan was the first novel I ever wrote. It's the hardest novel I ever wrote, and I don't expect to ever write another one like it. I was determined to wrap a compelling fictional story around the truth, to put on paper the reality of the government-sponsored genocide in Sudan that has killed more people than in Rwanda, Bosnia, Liberia, and Kosovo combined. Two million people have been massacred. 600,000 fled the country. Another 400,000 landed in refugee camps. That's a hard reality to think about, let alone write about. Just know that I didn't make up any of the, of the atrocities that you see in Sudan. I didn't come up with them out of my head. I went online and looked at actual news accounts. So anything that happens to any of the characters in Sudan has actually happened to a person in Sudan. But the book is not about horror. The book is a story of incredible courage, of endurance against all odds, of faith and hope and sacrifice, and the amazing power of one father's love.